Match Day 2. Ridge County 3, FC 21. <laughs> that cheated its backside off, didn't it? Olympiacos FC nil. Real Madrid 2. FC Barcelona 4, AS and Etienne 1. FC Dinamo Kiev 2, Juventus FC nil. Chelsea nil, Valencia CF nil. Sparta Praha 4, SSC Napoli 2. FC Porto nil. VFL Wolfsburg 3. FC Chismaju. Can you please give them names that I can pronounce? Nil. Manchester City, 1. Paris Saint-Germain, 4. Borussia Mönchengladbach, 0. Karl Gant, 0. Internazionale Milano, 0. AS Roma, 2. AS Monaco, FC, 2. Marci Degno, 1. Liverpool, 3. Ajax, 1. FC Zenit St. Petersburg, nil. Pablo Westin, nil. Atletico Madrid, two. FC Bayern Munchen, three. Sporting, nil. FC Basel, 1893, nil. Manchester United, nil. Game's table looks like that. Uh, my Ridge County side, top the group. Olympiacos FC, bottom. Group B. FC Dinamo Kiev top the group, AS and Etienne bottom. Group C Chelsea by goal difference. No, not by goal difference, by alphabet probably. Top the group, SSC Napoli bottom. VFL Wolfsburg in Group D top the group by goal difference, and FC Porto bottom. Group E. Internazionale Milano, top the group, Borussia Mönchengladbach, bottom. Group F, Liverpool, top the group, Marci Degna, bottom. Group G, Ajax, top the group, and that can't be by goal difference, because it says goal difference is 2 for Atletico Madrid. And yet it's one for Ajax. And Ajax have scored less goals. <clears throat> uh, I'm lost at this point. Lost on why they top the group. But they do. FC Zenit St. Petersburg bottom. With a goal difference of minus one I've just noticed. And Pablo Vestin have a minus two goal difference. Uh, I'm, and they've both scored two goals. Why? I, I, I don't understand. FC Bayern Munchen top the group in Group H and Sporting are bottom. So those are the groups. Um, yeah, after just two matches, obviously a lot can change, a lot to play for. Um, but yeah, at the moment unbeaten. This is a report on the development of your players. Seawen Terrier has acquired the following skill. Captaincy. He's become an indispensable player for this team. Oh, that's good. I always thought it would be captain. Oh, uh, does he get more exclamation marks? No. Oh. J. Cruz Kaprof has acquired the following skill. Flip flap. This will give us another attacking option. Right, six million one hundred and thirty-seven thousand seven hundred power in the kitty. This month's monthly report is now ready. It contains all sorts of information, such as whether we were able to play according to our team instructions, which plays were effective and which were ineffective, and much more. It's a really useful source of information for our forthcoming matches. So use it. Um, well, looking through it, I can't see... What? What can't you see? It's got all kinds of information. You should be able to see everything. No, I can't see where it registers what matches it cheated and how that affected my play. What? Well, you know, the cheating. What? The cheating. You know, like when it... 
basically phase the ball through Requender and when the ball phased through Jimenez so that they could try and get the what? Well, he doesn't show all that, does it? So what point are the stats? Have go away! Um, the team of the month for the PTU League has been announced! Right. Berardi and St. Graven get in there and Ananana gets in there. Um, and then, you know, lots of other teams' players get in there. Or a few other teams' players get in there. The main schedule for October 7th, International Friendly Match. 10th, International Friendly Match. 17th, PEU Cup, around 2. 20th, UEFA Champions League Group Stage Match Day 3. 27th, National Team Squad Announcement. Right. An offer for H. Denkovic has been received from Colo Colo. It has been looked at in the transfer negotiation for A. Rabio. It has been looked at in the transfer negotiation for D. Cabellas. It has been looked at in the transfer negotiation for P. Lucien Bonnet. Transfer negotiations for S. Triussi are broken down. Transfer negotiations for M. Perrin are broken down. Okay, my. Wonderful scout. Oh, no problem, like. I'm really pleased that you're pleased with my work. Okay. Um, still being sarcastic. Wonder if he's caught on. City next, Mute City, obviously, F0 Universe. They have a teamwork stat on the graphic there of 94, and ours is 89 at the minute. Um, Reasonable strength team by the look of it, just from what I can see for this division for Mute City. Um, so, as always, you know, with my team being a bit stronger because AI doesn't bother really sorting out a plan for each team, does it? It doesn't seem to work to that structure as I ranted about last time. Um, we should we should have a strong team, but their team works that is high, and obviously. Being on Superstar, it'll cheat more. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can can win that. Let's have a look at the condition of our players. Uh, I don't see any blue or purple arrows at all. Quite a few players are up for the game. Danilo, he hasn't played a lot. I bet teamwork stat goes down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he just hasn't played a lot because Renteria obviously cap gets the captains in and then doesn't play. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, good squad to pick from. Should be a good game uh, in respects of, you know, bedding my players down and everything else. Hopefully it'll just lead to cheating because after that disgraceful Champions League match, you know, I'm just sick of it. Just really sick of it. All I want is a Pez game or a football game. It doesn't have to be Pez. It's a football game that plays properly. And fairly. I understand you can't get real life into a video game. I understand it's a video game. I understand the constraints of a 10 minute match is not, you know, con constructed to a 90 minute football simulation. I get that. But for Christ's sake, you know, a balanced playing field of the rules that the player plays to, the AI plays to, a balanced playing field of if I have an option to do this move on a pad, it fucking works, and the AI can't do things that I can't. Do you know what I mean? Just, and, and not be broken. Christ, I'm sick of it. Uh, okay. So I shall see you for the Mute City game. As always, take care.